Hello everybody, today we will be doing the flight test of the Foxtech FPV WDR750 mini FPV camera. Um, it's got the stock lens on it and I have it mounted to this little flying wing here that's made out of foam. Uh, over here we have the Foxtech 500 milliwatt 2.4 gigahertz transmitter um, and we are using a uh, UHF system for control. So we're going to take this plane out to the field and fly it and see how the camera performs in its natural environment. Look, look what he's doing now. He's doing a low fly. Look. See? Watch it. Watch it come towards us. So here is the video from the plane um, recorded on the ground. So this video is being transmitted. Um, the colors are not adjusted on the video clips at all. This is exactly how they came from the plane, um, from the camera. Uh, as you can see, there is some interlacing going on which is why when there's a lot of motion it may appear a little blurry sometimes. That's just my recorder um, that interlaces it, it's not the camera. But anyways, as you can see, the colors are really good and it never adjusts to the brightness of the sky, mainly because I'm not really pointed at the sky most of the time, but even if I was, it would still um, only adjust to the lightness of the ground, which is really good, so you can always see where you're going. Um, and it, the camera shoots at a good frame rate. It's good for when, when there's a lot of motion going on. You can clearly see everything. Um, the resolution is great. Um, there's a big difference from other cameras uh, compared to this camera when you're looking in the video goggles. You can definitely tell where you're going and what's going on a lot better. Um, and overall, I'm just really impressed with the quality of this camera. Uh, once again, this is with the stock lens, so it's not as wide angle as the lens that I usually use, but I'm going to keep this lens on it just because without the lenses that are super wide, you can kind of see a little bit farther into the distance, and you can also see things with better clarity, like if there was a telephone wire or something, you would, you'd be able to see it more easily. Um, telephone wires can be a big issue when you're flying FPV. I've had some really close calls with those. But anyways, um, as you can see, the camera performs brilliantly. Um, it is a little heavy for such a small plane like this, but the plane actually carries it fine, and it's really it's the it's worth the weight because it's um, encased in a hard metal case, so that really makes it a lot more durable. So if I were, if I were to nosedive this plane, I'm sure the camera would be just fine. So anyways, that's um, some flight video from this camera, and I'll just keep playing the video, and you can check it out. Also, for those of you who want to know more information about this plane, um, you'll have to wait a couple of weeks because I'm going to take it to different locations and fly a bunch and then get a bunch of footage from it. Um, and then I'll put kind of a compilation video together and in that video I'll give more specs on the plane and stuff like that. Right on the nose of that plane. He's, <laughs> he's flying it from being on board right now. Look at the dog chasing it. He thinks it's a frisbee tie. Oh, he landed it. Good turn. See? Nice, huh? Gosh, he built this, Tyler.